Let's go on a garden tour, everyone. There's my mulch and dirt pile I have not finished yet. Here are my dwarf blueberries. Don't you love how they dump the soil? Like, yeah. Anyways, here's some drift roses, apricot, that I just planted. And this blueberry is still alive. This is jelly bean. You can see some growth down here. But the rest of it looks kind of dead. So I don't know what's going on with that one yet. Now this one and the other one, it's top hat. This is a peach sorbet I got on clearance one year, but I don't know. It's not doing that great, but it's alive. So. Yes. <clears throat> hostas, these are my mini hostas. They do so well. Very um, dependable. Is it? Yeah, you can see. This is Blue Mouse Ears. What we got here? Mini skirt. Oh, it's there. I saw one the other day, I swear. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. And this is. Twilight. This is actually a, a bigger one I got for free. I'm going to plant that in the shade garden. Maybe this year. All those dwarf eucaras, they don't do too well. I never have any survive past a couple years. And this garden, I made a garden here and it's not that great. I had a little dwarf butterfly bush and it died like a year or two ago and these are my eucaras and they look kind of sad this one is dead probably because it's in an area that doesn't get a lot of rain echinaceas powwow white don't look all that great there's a third one that died a june looks nice there's um Creeping Veronicas do pretty well each year. Look at this one, it's reverting. It's not variegated. Hyacinths, I had more bulbs, but I think something ate it. They have some over there. I don't know, basically it's a garden that's uh, on hold for a bit because obviously not everything's doing all that well. And I'll need to fix it eventually when I'm not working on other gardens. This is Bee Balm. There's one underneath the wheelbarrow, but that died. Agastaki, Ava was here. And it did great for two years, and then last year grew tall, wilted, and didn't come back up again. So I count that as loss. But this one is Agastaki rupestris. I just planted this. We'll see how it does. These are sensation honeysuckles. They do amazing each year. They have fragrant blooms and red berries. This one's not doing as well, maybe because of its location compared to this one. I don't know, we'll have to see. It's luck if those die too. But what can we do? Alright. My little plants I have not planted yet. Some of them are annuals. I'm going to wait till the nighttime lows are a little higher. I know we're supposed to get a 39 degree night coming up. Here's my newly planted Japanese Wisteria Royal Purple. And if that survives this winter, I might get the pink variety. Rosia or something, I don't know. Okay, here's the garden on the west side of the garage. Doesn't get too much light. Probably because our neighbor's house is blocking it or something. But Leatris, Bee Balm, Oh, hey, what's this? What do you got here? Our Sylvia is coming up. Meadow Sage. Yeah, ooh. This is the white kind. I have a um, black eyed Susan in the middle here somewhere. I have some echinaceas. I don't know if they do too well. 
bee balm. I still don't see, but I did see some life earlier on before I put mulch down. And I usually put the cadet face plants. This is my project for this year. These are going to be part of the succulent cacti gardens. It's going to extend where that grass area is, and I'm going to build that main enter, that main area up over there. And all these rocks are just sitting here to help keep weeds down. They're not going to be permanent. I'm going to take a bunch of them out. It's going to be kind of like over here. But these flagstones are going to get planted in the ground. I got them for free, so I don't have enough to finish over here. So I'm just going to have to be waiting until I find some more. It's my succulent cacti garden, too. That's actually something, and I'm going to extend it out build it up, work in some more drainage. This little area has just been kind of like this since we bought the house. And eventually I would like to put some creeping flocks and some other things over here. I kind of wanted a patio over here, but Matt's like, no, oh, something else. Anyways, here's the north garden. I have to clean it up still. So there's some hostas and heucheras and and oh my goodness, what happened here? Well then. Hmm. Interesting. I bet a certain someone did that. A someone that has four paws. Who could that be? Gouda? I don't know. Here's our deck that's kind of falling apart. Here's one of my little chala cactus that's going to get planted. This should be growing some roots. Those are my annuals, my shrimp plant, and my quarter weed. The shrimp plant, of course, has scale on it again. I tried to keep it off. The porter weed has grown very leggy and I need to cut it back as soon as it adjusts to the being outdoors again. Fire pit I just finished mulching yesterday. Over at the shed here you can see where I kind of blocked out where I'm going to be putting a patio. So that's this year's project too. Got more um, the rest of the blocks are over there. Yeah. That's Gouda's potty area. Raised bed garden. Bluebird house. No bluebirds yet. I've heard them. I have not seen them. It's our shed. And this is where we had a little fire going on. Uh oh, I stepped on something. That is or was a rose bush. Anyways, these are little viburnums. They're supposed to be the dwarf ones. I hope they leaf out soon because I've only stepped on them 20 million times. This is my palm tree. It survived the winter, but it, it doesn't look all that great. So we'll see how that goes. It's the hibiscus. And oh my gosh, I have weeds coming up again. <sighs> Can't win. It's my tamarisk tree. And this is my sweet summer love clematis. Yay. Okay. Garlic. Strawberries. More strawberries. 
boxes that are empty. We haven't planted anything yet. Asparagus, I just planted those. Jersey variety. Raspberry shortcake raspberry. Some formless blackberry I got from someone at work. Kiwi berry acai. Slowly getting there, but it's got some growth. It's being smart this year because every spring it starts to leaf out and then some cold comes and kills it off. This is supposed to be my shade garden where I'm putting hostas and stuff. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Butterfly garden, which I need to weed. I'm working on it. Ooh, what's that? Look at this. Ooh, what a mess. What a mess. And over here is going to be the second part of the butterfly garden. I just haven't built it yet. Some of the plants are in the front. Maybe, maybe this weekend. Nothing too exciting here. It's just a hodgepodge garden, but let's go look at the roses. Everything is done here. The roses are coming. The young Lysita roses. Dave Austin. Cat mint, ladies' mantle, meadow sage, may night, Comte, that French rose bush on it, and bolero, which seems to die back very close to the ground each year, but it's still alive. It's interesting how some of them leaf out faster than others. Hey, you don't belong here. Sunflower seed. Okay, well, that's my garden so far.